Hello, Jenny. Hello, Tony. What's today? It's New Year's Day. Wrong! It's the day that Lego's dropping 150 new sets. So we're on our way, well, not, not to the Lego store. We're on our way to Orlando, Florida to see some family. And as soon as we can dispatch with this nonsense, it's Lego Day. Nonsense? No, I mean, uh, I'm excited to see the family. Okay. Guess who else is with us? It's Danielle! What's up? Happy New Year, Danielle. Happy New Year. Are you more excited for family or Lego Day? Definitely family. Wrong! This is what I'm up against. And I'm up against the clock, honestly, because these sets are going to be so hot. I don't even know if I'm going to get what I want. I don't even think these guys are going to go to the Lego store with me. So, uh, first, we, we go to Orlando. It's a pretty road. <laughs> I think so. Like, with the, this frame by tree. Like, if you could see it in the thing with this clouds, it's nice. So we got some drama playing out. I'm here at the Embassy Suites in Altamonte Springs. Beautiful hotel, but we just got a call from our son who is meeting us over here. Just while he was driving on the interstate, his back windshield busted out. I never heard of such a thing, so uh, waiting for him to arrive. All right, so here's my son, Gregory. What up? Uh, what's happened to you this morning? So, you know, I was driving, hanging out, got family to hang out with that I haven't seen in a while. Um, and then I'm driving, going a little fast as usual, um, but I'm driving a little bit and then something hits my windshield and I'm like, whoa. And then I hear a loud, <laughs> and then this is what we got. Look at this craziness. So something hit your front windshield and your back windshield starts to shatter? Yeah, I don't even know what hit my front windshield. Wow. All right, looks like, uh, so you're about 40 minutes away. So I guess the decision tree is, do we try to call Safe Flight here? Or do we see if you make it back to where you're staying? At least you got, at least you got company and a place to stay while you're waiting over there. But I don't know. Dude, that's a one of a kind. I've never seen that. I know. Hmm. Anybody out there know what would cause something like this to be hit from the front and shattered the back window? 2024, off to a great start. <laughs> Let's take a look from the inside. There's Santa sack. Holy moly. I guess this is the safety aspect of it, right? Like, that's why they make windshields that fracture and not shatter glass everywhere, but... Mm -hmm. Wow, so you you heard it all just shatter out, huh? Yep. It was a loud bang. Wow. That's crazy. I've never seen anything like that. All right, so we've made our way from the Embassy Suites over here to Safe Flight, which it says on their website they're open. So I'm going to go check and see if we can get this car in for an emergency repair. Hmm. They're not open. So we got to gotta come up with a plan b so jenny how was it visiting with your family from up north it was pretty amazing can you believe gregory's windshield is shattered no how crazy is that so crazy but i, I think we got greg taken care of and so uh the journey continues take exit 67 onto state road 536 then keep right toward Disney Springs. All right, so I was thinking I would go to the Lego store in Tampa, but I was only half an hour away from Disney Springs. So here I am at Disney Springs. So what I did not realize about Orlando today is that there's a college bowl game. So the hotel that we were at, the Embassy Suites, there were a whole bunch of Tennessee volunteer fans, which reminded me of being at home in Nashville. And so I guess it's Tennessee and Iowa and you even saw the blimp when I was coming over. So, uh, yeah, interesting day in Orlando, but uh, the quest for Lego is on. So it looks like we have a little bit of a security, security checkpoint to get through. I was kind of shocked in researching this place 
to realize that the Lego store here at Disney Springs is the only Lego store in Orlando. You figured with a town that's big, there'd be more than one, but uh, it's, it's a great Lego store. So well, we got something going on over here. Check this out. Of course, they do have the balloon ride here, but today it is closed due to high winds. Get Splitsville, the bowling alley, and then a huge Starbucks here. Churros. Take a closer look at the balloon. It does look like a, that would be a pretty fun adventure. But uh, yeah, weather no cooperating today. This is a cool little spot just for fun socks. Of course, the. Uh, Kiss Destroyer is what caught my attention. <laughs> socks, socks, and more socks. All kinds of restaurants here. You got Irish Pub. You got uh, Art Smith's Fried Chicken, Morimoto Place. Uh, yeah, almost every cuisine represented. Uh, we'll not go home. I don't even know where the Lego store is. I'm kind of lost, but. I'm assuming I'm on the right track. I wonder what this huge line is for. Bakehouse. Gideon's Bakehouse. Must be popular. Hmm. Looks like you drive this right down into the, right down into the lake there. The Amphicar Launch. Purchase your tickets at the Boutique. Boutique. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting there, but uh, I'm definitely getting distracted by T-Rex. I think this is a restaurant. They got all these cool, uh, got all these cool fossil or you know, replicas of fossils. T-Rex baby. They don't. Uh, they don't actually give you like forks here. They just give you like really tiny spoons, so that you can simulate eating. I don't think that's true. Let's see what's on the other side. Oh yeah. I guess that would be like a brachiosaurus maybe? Brontosaurus? I don't know, some uh, some Jurassic nerd, help me out. Brachiosaurus, Brontosaurus. I know it's not a Triceratops. This place is crowded, there's a big line and as I was getting over here, I just realized that there's the Lego store and the line wraps all the way back there somewhere. So uh, this should be fun. Uh, we'll, we'll go look at the front of the Lego store and then we'll get in line. Really nice builds outside the Lego store. Uh, I think I'll try to use the restroom before I before I jump in line. Crowds everywhere, even in the restroom. Ooh. Hmm. I see some food that I had a bad experience with in another country. I wonder if I should. Uh, wonder if I should tempt it. Poutine. Ah, uh, I don't think so. No poutine today. It's the. Uh, I think this is the entrance to the Lego line. Let's see if we can jump in. I think that mom was saying there's no way we're getting in this line, but the line's moving pretty quick. Got in at 146. Really not bad, just seven minutes to get in. Uh, let's go looking for new sets. See if we can find the new sets. The roses are new. The Polaroid, brand new. Uh, 
more new stuff. This is new. This astronaut, brand new. The truck and helicopters, new. The watering can, everything in here. Wow, these sets are so cool. Spider-Man mask is new. Rocket is new. Wow. It's new. More new stuff. Super cool. Oh, I am loving this hot dog cart. Thanks. Just like that, I'm out 2.06 p.m. Uh, oddly enough, my phone's been blowing up. My mom, my mother-in-law, Jenny, all sending me messages. I gotta get somewhere where I can check it out. Uh, hopefully it's nothing with Greg, but uh, yeah, let me get back to the car real quick and see what's going on. Wow, there's so many nooks and crannies of Disney Springs. All kinds of stories I don't think I've ever seen before. Hopefully I'm making my way out of here. Yeah, it's uh, probably one of the busiest days of, I don't know, I don't know what it's normally like, but this seems like a lot of people. Okay, this is cool. Little cruise ship model here in Disney Springs. Disney treasure coming soon. Very cool. Gotta take a quick break. It's a lot of steps back to that Lego store, but I, I do feel like I'm making progress. Look what I found again. The sock place. I'm so tempted to grab those Destroyer Kiss socks. I don't know. All right, gotta get back to the car. The harp guy's still at it back there. Hopefully, got a break, but uh, we're catching a break. We're almost to our destination. This parking garage has a really neat functionality. So, I don't know if you can see them, but there's red lights. There we go. But where you see a green light, that means there's an available parking space. So you could really drive down the aisle and figure out where you can park. Whew. Success. So I guess the word got out that I was in Orlando. And so uh, I, I'm, I'm becoming an errand boy. Uh, yeah, the three different people reaching out to ask me to do one particular thing. And how can I say no to my mother and my mother-in-law and my wife? Uh, this journey isn't over yet. One more stop in Orlando. Here we are, Daryl Carter Parkway. Do, do you know where I'm at? Y you might know. That's right, the only white castle in the state of Florida. The, the largest white castle in the world. Yeah, everybody craving them sliders. The operation here is like a carport, two lanes, like a sliding door, people come in and out. Oh, I'm getting charged right now. Hold on, let me pay for this. 40 cheeseburgers and two double cheeseburgers, all extra pickle. And uh, yeah, we're just waiting for it to show up, but uh, 70 bucks. It costs a little bit to eat at the only White Castle in Florida. All right, we got the burgers on board. Uh, time to let the deliveries begin. I think I'm about an hour and a half away from home. So uh, yeah, let's head that way. All right, delivery spot number one. Special delivery! Yeah, Thank you, darling. Come These in. The White Castles you requested. Get in there, Dugger. Come on. Yeah, I can turn this dinner off. But it just got started. Oh my god. I think my mom says she's been eating White Castle since 1969. That's like two years. That's like 50, 54 years ago. 55. Wow. Alright, uh, I got one more drop off before I go home. <laughs> Special delivery number two. <laughs> Special delivery. Hello. Hello. Home sweet home. Final delivery. <laughs> All right, here is the Lego reveal. First off, I picked up the Spider-Man mask. 
this is really what the whole trip was about. But another thing that was super exciting was the Polaroid One Step. I got the bouquet of roses to build for my lovely Jenny B. Bouquet of roses. Continuing collecting of the food trucks. This is the burger truck and the free gift of purchase really put you over the top. You've got the hot dog cart, the retro food truck. Pretty good haul. I get four things and a free item. So, uh, yeah, good day at the Lego store. Well, all in all, a pretty good first day of the year, minus the challenging windshield issues. Fortunately, that's all working out well, and those windshields will be repaired very soon. But, um, yeah, uh, happy 2024, everyone. I hope you guys have an awesome year. Subscribe if you want more content, and uh, well, I'll, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.